This message goes out to the California Health and Human Services Agency. When you're on food stamps, every six months you have to resubmit your information to get approved for another six months of food stamps. So that includes your basic info like name and birthday and your income. Well, I sent in my info, but I was missing one piece of information, the date. I didn't get this until fairly late into September because I don't have enough gas money to drive to my mailbox regularly to check it for things I'm not even expecting. And it, it was due September 30th or they would cut off my food stamps. I sent it in like September 26th or 27th uh, with the date on it. So they circled the red line and date and they didn't put a self-addressed envelope. The second time they're like, oh, you messed up. That's on you. And then I was out of stamps, so I had to buy an $11 sheet of stamps. But then I got another letter, and here's the weird thing. This says, On September 15, 2020, we sent you a notice telling you that your CalFresh would be discontinued effective September 30th because we had not received a complete SAR-7 report. In response to our notice, you turned in your SAR-7 on September 14th, but it was not complete. You have not fixed the problem! In order to avoid discontinuance of your benefits before the end of the first working day of the next month, you need to do the following. Now, no, no, no. before I say what I need to do, I checked my mail last Monday. Today is like October 11th, I think. Monday or Tuesday, I checked it. That means it, this was not in my mail as of like October 5th. So what's up, California Health and Human Services? Huh? I guess that's why they were confused about the date. They couldn't fill in the date because they have time travelers applying or working there. And, you know, time is not linear uh, over at that department. But it says, you need to do the following. And then it says, you provided bank statement. Please clarify earnings for the month of August 2020 from self-employment. This underlined sentence right here. I don't know if you can see purple. I worked with this asshole on a film set once who was really like condescending and rude to people. He's like, well, where's the line? I was drawing lines to where to cut on a wooden board. He's like, where is it? I can't see it. Doing this fake voice that, you know, when he was uh, trying to be serious and take, be taken seriously. I'm like, it's right here. And he's like, purple? No. I can't see this. Please clarify earnings for the month of August 2020. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to clarify it. So it's not just for me, but everybody out there understands what the bank statement is. Because I thought the bank statement was the clarification. Like I said what my income was, which was very low for August. And I attached my bank statement. As far as I can tell, that is the clarification, but okay. Allow me to explain. On the bank statement, you have a series of numbers, these sequences of numbers. They're not randomly assorted. They actually have a particular significance and value for each one. These lines on the page are symbols. The symbols stand for a quantity or amount. You're used to counting like one, two, three, four. That's that's a four. Let me show that. You see that? Except that asshole on that film set. Now. Typically, I wouldn't have a deposit of just four dollars. Now, no, 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 slow down. I know I'm getting ahead of myself with the dollars thing. Let's say it was four, and these lines here, and uh, this curve, which is a five, four, 
five. That doesn't mean four dollars and five cents. You make it so in your head so that the second number brings this value to above ten. So it's no longer four, but forty. So four tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then similar onward, eleven through twenty, twenty-one through thirty, thirty-one through forty. Then forty-one, two, three, four, five. That small round symbol, that's not just like a scratch, like a typo. That's actually a symbol for a dot. And these two big loops are zeros. Zeros are kind of like I don't know, this is going beyond my understanding of math, but like empty numbers, but not exactly empty. So these are the cents. Cents make up one dollar. One hundred of these cents makes a dollar. So you won't have like 350 cents here. You'll have three dollars and fifty cents. But there are not all numbers that make the account bigger. Some numbers make the account smaller. This symbol, you can see it's one line going up and another line crossing through it means plus, that can mean addition, adding to, increasing in number. So you add the numbers up here and make the account higher by the quantity here, individually. You're not multiplying it, you're just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 45. This symbol, just the single line going left and right, but not up and down, is a minus. That brings the number lower. So you're thinking, well, how's this lower if it's numbers? It goes up, right, with numbers? This means instead of going up another $9 after the 45, you take away nine. Imagine like you have bricks. You have a pile of bricks, you have 45 bricks, you take away nine, and then kind of 46% of one. So 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Then you bring down from that 46 out of the even 45, the 46 cents. So I already forget what the $36. Now another 46 cents, that is 54 cents left over. The pluses are the income, the deposits. Don't even count these.
put the deposits together and that number is my income. Doesn't matter about the minuses. Don't worry about those because it's still income even if I'm down from there. The point is that it was counted at one point, not that I still have it. And fortunately for you, at the Health and Human Services, uh, whatever, I already added it all up and I put it on the form. You asked to please clarify earnings for the month of August 2020 from self-employment. That was the clarification. I don't know how to get this in by September 30th when I got it sometime after August, uh, October 6th or so. If it's your policy to cancel benefits if I'm late, can it be my policy that you extend benefits when you're late? The problem has been fixed. I completed this form by removing the problem. You may keep this video for any future applications for food stamps at the Health and Human Services Department. Refer back to it if you're ever not sure what the bank statement means. If you need additional explication, explanations, like when you say please clarify earnings, but you're not even sure what earnings are, or what self-employment is, I suggest you ask a friend or search an index or archive on the internet available from phones, laptops, tablets, and desktop computers. That's the explanation. I hope it suffices to show that I could use some help eating.